Alright people, welcome back. More Vimin Y. So today is Friday, that means we're using Cosmic Evil or Yang Zing Evil, but you guys probably don't want to see you know, the Yang Zings after yesterday's Vimin Y. Like, double in a row. Whew! And I, I you know what, I, thought, I, I knew I was going to lose. I, there's a pretty good chance I was going to lose, you know. He wasn't aggressive enough, we're both pretty slow decks, you know. It, 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 that's the problem with Gradles. If your opponent doesn't take the offensive, you're, you're really not doing anything, you know. If you don't kill my Yang Zings, you know, eventually I'm going to go ahead and set up and, and uh, synchro on your butt, you know, if you don't come after me. But if you do come after me, I mean, either or, it's still good. You know, that's what I'm saying. Yang Zings are definitely, in my opinion, stronger than Gradles. And they're going to go up the popularity. Freaking Jeff Jones and stuff. Freaking Jeff Jones. Anyway, I decided to go ahead and play this one because getting, uh, getting, oh, he's talking to someone else. I'm like, well, uh, yeah, I know you're in a match. Uh. Getting that, uh, what's it called? Oh my god, I can't think of what I want to say. Getting that, what's the name of that fucking card? I, oh my god, creation is really good. So I'm just like, fuck it, I'll play it. I'm running two. I didn't run one because of the number generator, but you can clearly see I drew, drew one anyway, which is fine. It's kind of difficult to get out of the hand, but I'll, I'll you know, as soon as he kills my B on, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and, and float a little bit. End up with Gia. Gia pitch these two, summon two, and you know. Alright. Well, that's it's not a, technically an effect that activates, you just special it, but alright. You just set that. Like, really? <laughs> really, nigga? You just set that. This is your first turn. Let me set that Capulse. Activate Capulse, same turn? Like, what? <laughs> Like, I, I <laughs> that, that hurts. That really hurts. And I got a summon Yang Zing monster in defense mode. It has to be in defense mode. Oh, hold on, fool. I'm, I'm gonna float. It's whatever stats is zero. So, you know what? I'm actually gonna allow you to go ahead. And it has to be in defense mode. I really want to end up with Gia. You know what? I'm just gonna summon Gia. Fuck it. I'm just gonna summon Gia in defense mode. Because he can't get over it unless he... And it has to be during our main phase. So, I don't have to worry about you using Sirocco and tributing and attacking or whatever. But now I'm, oh my god, now I draw you Bell too? It's bad. This is bad. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to use my effect. There's no semicolon, right? If you control no other monsters, semicolon. Okay, so I'm, I control no other monsters, and then you get to respond then. I'm going to send two Yang Zings from your hand. Uh, damn, then there's another semicolon then a special summon. Oh my god, this is about to be bad. Response. I believe Gia has to be on the field to resolve the fact, because that semicolon right here. Send two Yang Zing cards for me. Alright. So, of course, I'm gonna summon my Yuge. I'm gonna go ahead and summon Suwani. I'm gonna summon Bixie. It's gonna go ahead and play Compulse, which is fine, because I have a normal summon, so... <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that was just... Mm. <laughs> Normal summon. <laughs> I guess it's all good. It's all good in the neighborhood. Synchro shotgun. Let's go ahead and go into the powerful card that beat me yesterday. Axia. Effect. One, two, three. Back to the deck with you. You know, and I would totally go ahead and activate Limit Reverse, summon. Zephra, whatever his name is, take that damage to get a creation, because you guys already know. Oh, back to that. Back to deck. To get a creation. You guys already know, creation is the power. I fucking lost yesterday's duel because of double creation. Destroyed one, and two more took its place. <laughs> it's the curse of the Humpty Dumpty. Sorry, that's, that's, that's a... <laughs> that's an inside joke. Back to that too. That one too. There we go. So, uh, fat Axia is 2800. 
28 under six that I, that I would use my normal summon. I don't have additional Yang Zing to go ahead and pop and get my effect and stuff. It's cool though. Go ahead and set these two cards now. Now I feel comfortable setting them. Of course, I am unaffected by trap cards, which is always nice, but like I said, I would not be surprised if he just runs me over. You know, that clue is the power. Nah, he's just gonna summon in. So oh, what? You're not gonna use your effect? No, it's probably just gonna go ahead and black rose, right? Well, yeah, that works. Okay, I guess he doesn't. Well, let's say if you want to summon Hot Joe, Hot Joe can go ahead and summon. Oh wait, I returned it to the deck. I'm a master. Okay. So I'm a master. Just gonna go ahead and punch me and. Surprised you didn't go for Black Rose, I would have. So you're just gonna punch me and stick a wedge counter? Wedge counter. Fucking potato wedge counter. Then there's damage stuff, just called attack to put much place over my fire. You can remove all wedge counters. Until the end of this turn. Okay. Why? I'm 28! <laughs> I already stated that I was 28. Oh my god. <laughs> I said it. I'm 28. I attacked you. You took 28. And now all of a sudden I'm back to 73? Like, no. I'm always 28. So you go ahead and get your effect, put the wedge counter on, I don't care. I'll go ahead and handle you next turn. Hmm, I'm trying to think what I want to do. I think I might want to just go ahead and summon Zephra. Ooh, if I could go into fucking, uh... I don't run him. Hmm. I'm thinking if I can go ahead and go into clearing, but I clearly did not run him. Clearing would have been great right now. I could probably take one of these guys out for a clearing, especially since I dropped Masculine down to two. I could probably take you out. I should probably run a clearing. That's probably, probably a pretty good idea. Shut up! I hear you, Benny, snickering back there. What? <laughs> Alright. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and activate Limit Reverse. Uh, and only do that during your turn. It's only spell speed one. So. I mean, unless you want to remove the counter during the. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and activate Limit Reverse. Let me go ahead and actually summon Zephyr. Then I'm gonna go ahead. So, oh, and this card is destroyed by battle by card effect while in your monster zone. Yep. So, and then once per turn, I could target one card I control and one level four. So, I go destroy the card in the field, and if I do, special summon the other monster from my graveyard. All right. It doesn't say during either player's turn, which makes it spell. Oh my god. Spell speed one and can only be used during your turn. Like I said, you would rather use it on your turn anyway. There's really no point for you to use it on my turn. I drop down to zero and then I just go back to my general attack during the end phase. Then you're literally just in a loop. Like, don't worry about it, dude. Don't worry about it. I don't need to cheat you to beat you. Back to the effect. I'm going to go ahead and target... What is it? Nep Zephra. 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 I'm just gonna call him Zephra. And uh I'm kinda of feeling kind of uh Well uh, I guess I'll go ahead and summon so one I need to, I need to go ahead and handle this guy. So is there anybody in Metrodex that can handle this guy? Uh who can handle this situation? Another Baxia, but I don't really feel like summoning another Baxia. Mm, I'm thinking about 
summoning does it just say all right actually oh my god i could trish this man i could trish this man i can summon and get rid of you summon you activate oasis summon you normal summon you yeah and uh beyond beyond so you go back to the extra deck this is gone summon beyond Zephyr effect i get to go ahead and add a yang zing or zephyr speller trap and you know what kind of feeling kind of creationist i mean not creationist uh path can spell or trap right yep path i'm gonna i'm gonna get path because i'm about to put my cards back anyway go ahead and activate oasis summon sawani almost summon gia synchro shulkan into uh, trash Act one, two, and three. Sua fact Trish is thirty two hundred. Yep, and that's game. <laughs> Twenty eight hundred. Then two hundred. Game. I mean on main phase two, if I didn't kill him, just activate path, I'll return you, I'll return you. I'll just return I'll just return all my shit. Zephyr put network. The only reason why I wasn't running Zephyr before is because I was worried about drawing him, but so that's the reason why I'm running two. And like I said, getting getting my path or getting creation, that's there's no complaints with that, right? And if push comes to shove, if I draw him, I can always just tribute set him. <laughs> and he does have a 26 motherfucking booty, people. Like, the badunk dunk is real on Zephra. Like, what the hell? <laughs> it was bad. Let's go ahead and get another duel in. Beyond, beyond, Bixie. And, and, and Zephra again. Like, I would really, really, I would really prefer to just summon you from the deck. Well, looks like I'm in. Maybe take the duel slow again. You know, kill me. I'm gonna float a couple times until I get Gia and Gia pitch two, summon two. He said, at least I can stall out with the Gia. No complaints there. Got that dark hole. Your worst seven nightmare. Yeah. Oh, never mind. The the sevens are supposed to be T's because it's nightmare. So your worst nightmare, except the T's are sevens. I really not never thought seven is a T. Yeah, whatever. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. No, I was about to say, don't you just mean you're just gonna summon it? So you're just gonna go ahead and summon a rank three lower water monster. All she is is a twenty eight booty. Oh, you're just gonna slap him on top. And uh this card cannot attack for the rest of the turn, so you cannot attack. And I have to summon the monster in defense position. So I'm going to go ahead and summon Gia. Ch -ch -ch Gia. Alright, we're still good. We're still good. So I'm going to go ahead and use my effect. I'm going to go ahead and pitch Zephyr. This is... Is anybody getting deja vu from the last duel? Because this is pretty much what happened in the last duel. So I'll go ahead and pitch you two. I'll go ahead and summon Sawani and Bixie. We'll go ahead and Synchro Shulkan into Vaxia. Fact. One, two, three. Back to back. 
Yeah, G is good, creation is good. Yang Zings have a lot of good stuff. I wish they just had one more beater monster. Like, I think that's the problem with them. So, uh, stack box here is 2800. That's extra. I did not normal summon this turn, so if I felt like it, I could just go ahead and normal summon and pop summon. Me too. All three of them. I got I got three bounces. Thank you. Alright, so I'm thinking about go ahead and pop summoning. Pop flying. Same guys, I'm thinking about maybe popping Bixie, summoning Swanee. No. I right, summon the monster. I did not normal summon this turn, so I'm gonna go ahead and normal summon. Go ahead and use Baxia, Fat, Target, Bixie, and Nephra. Oh, it's Nephra? Zephra? So we'll go ahead and kill you. No, never mind, I can't do that. Never mind. Never mind. Can't do that. Can't do that. Uh, it has to be a level 4. Uh, I could target one card you control and one level 4 lower monster in my graveyard. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, Bixie and Sua. So destroy Bixie, summon Sua. I did not use Bixie's effect this turn, so Bixie effect. I summon one in attack position. It's not the best of plans. I don't really feel like summoning Zephra. I'm just gonna go ahead and summon Beyon. So Beyond attack, 16. I'm getting my Yang Zings on, people. Like I said, with Jeff Jones making the deck populated, like I said, Yang Zings have never been bad. They're just a little slow. But at least they're not as slow as freaking, uh, as, uh, Radles, right? But hey, I'm playing a Ubel deck. I mean, you can't get much slower than that. So, <laughs> oh no, just quit. <laughs> Let I go. Just quit. Uh, you know what? I feel like I'm in a dueling mood right now. We've been kicking some butt, so we'll go ahead and get one more dueling. Hopefully it won't be as long as yesterday. Fucking by me was like 40 something minutes yesterday. Like, oh my god. I know you guys didn't even want to watch that. You guys saw the time and you're like, nope, fuck that shit. <laughs> but I'm feeling like I'm in a dually mood. And I got time on my hands for right now. So we'll get one more dueling. Burbaked. Alright, Burbaked. Last duel. <laughs> what? What the fuck you laughing at? <laughs> Cause this man's name is Burbaked? Oh, I was about to say, like, can I get one Yangzing monster? Because this hand is about to be some straight booty and a half. But I got, at least I got one Yangzing monster. I said I dropped Mass Command down to one, I mean, one, two. Got Soul Charge and Terror, so those are my number generated cards. I got this Bixi. Bixi can go ahead and sit there with that Bootay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I said I wanted to get one more duel, but I'm not even sure if that's how I feel. You know what? Screw it. I don't feel like doing against Watts. I'll just go get one more duel besides Watts. I don't like Watts. I don't like Toons. I'd rather, like I said, I'd rather you interact with me. Kill my monsters. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm on a thin line. I, I want to interact with my opponent. I want you to kill my monsters, but then I really hate freaking, uh, uh, what's the name of that card? Supply Squad, because it rewards you for being bad. You kill my monster, I'm supposed to neg, unless my deck floats, in which case that's just how Konami makes it back, you know? So instead of negging off of me dying, I just summon a different monster, which, you know, some, sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh! and floating. No complaints there. Hmm. kind of want to set the Sawani. I don't want to reveal my deck yet. But when you play Watts or Tins or something where you're literally just attacking over me and just attacking me directly, I'm not really for that. And once again, another guy who's running a, what is that, like a fucking 50, 51 card deck? 51 card deck plays Upstart. You know you could just take out the Upstarts and it would be the same end result. Whatever. So he's going to go ahead and send Red Eyes, send Red Eyes. Okay, what Dragon Shrine. Hey, Dragon Shrine went to two in the OCG. Uh oh, people. Stung. Yep. Yep. Hmm. 
Yep. Who's a fact? Who's a fact? No, no, no. Put it back. Only use one effect once per turn, only once that turn. That. Only one effect. Holy shit. <laughs> Fact. I'll go ahead and summon a Yingxing monster in defense mode. You know what? I'm thinking about I want to summon Zephra. No! No, no, actually, no, no. I do not want fucking Zephra. No, no, no. I do not want Zephra. That's a terrible idea. Cause then I can't summon fucking Mass Chameleon, which would be terrible. Summon Bixie. <laughs> I actually want to go Mass Chameleon, summon back uh, Sawani, and go for Bixie, spin that back row, and pack over him next turn. So. so I wouldn't even be able to summon fucking Mass Chameleon. Alright. I said one more duel. We're getting one more duel. Like scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. Is this Andros the Andros that got the guest upload on my channel? Maybe. I'll just go ahead and set you. Oh yeah, baby, set you. And I guess I'll go ahead and bait him out and set you too. That's it, that's it. No, <laughs> that's it. I don't feel comfortable setting more right now. I don't want to just lose these cards. Oh, I tried to bait him. Oh, never mind. He just had two MSTs. <laughs> there was no baiting. <laughs> what the fuck? Some Herald deck. Yeah, some Herald deck. Let's get that solemn warning. Yep. Yep. At least I'm pretty safe from you going off this turn. You know you don't have to go into your deck to shuffle. You want to get out of your deck? Thank you. I'll open your deck for no raisins. Gunplay. Oda, that's it. You want a solemn warning my arm get a knight? Hey, more power to you, man. That's just more life points to you losing. Oh, I know it's going to draw the one arm and get a knight, too. Taking advantage of that number generator, people. Taking advantage of that number generator. Right. Or you want to warning him? The choice is yours. I don't really care. You want to warning him? Sure. You want don't want to warning him? Sure. I don't care. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Pay that 2,000. You literally did nothing. Well, it only has one MST left, so I guess I feel okay setting these cards now. I'm also down on resources. Yeah, it was a waste of a warning. But knowing my luck, he'll just go ahead and summon Christia right now. Hmm, okay. You get your effect, I get my effect. Yep. My battle and send it to the graveyard and put damage. No, he gains equal to the monster's attack. Uh I'm kinda of feeling kinda of zephyry. Some of the monster in defense, right? No, 
I don't I want to use that for in this duel. Is that, I'm sending okay right now. So I'll exchange my floatiness for a Yang Zing Speller Trap, which isn't bad. And you served your purpose, Seth. You served your purpose well. J -j 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 -gia. Uh, excuse me. No, just take it real slow. Go ahead. You just threw that regaki at me, so, alright. Summon two. Mmm. Mmm. You know what? I'm feeling like I want to go ahead and summon you and you. Because then I get. I can revive you. And I can go into like a Trish, I can go into, what's its face? I don't have any lights, so Trish might be best. You know what, I'm just going to go into Beals. Yeah, so I want you and you. So they already threw their Geki at me, so. That shit's about to hit the fan. TT, alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and activate Learn Reverse. Target Gia. Ch ch Gia. You know what? Now I'm feeling like I want to fucking backseat you, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna backseat you. Backseat! That. No effect about traps. Turn to the deck. You and you. I said, I see you, number generator, giving him Regeki, giving him fucking, uh, Compulse. But nah. And giving me Torrental. Like I said, the number generator. The power. Oh, and drawing Armageddon Knight. Or Rhoda. Two of fact. Baxia is 2800. I could. Actually, you know what? I could continue going off. I can go ahead and activate Oasis, summon, destroy, effect, effect, effect. Yeah, I can I can beat you this turn. Yeah, I'm just gonna destroy him! I'm not attacking yet. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this door up right now. Go ahead and activate Oasis. Go ahead and summon Geo. Baxia effect. I'm going to target... No, wait, I don't want Bixie. No, oh, wait, I don't want Bixie. I mean, Gia. I want Bixie. Let's see. Target Bixie and uh, Gia. Destroy. This goes to summon Gia. Bixie effect. Creation effect. Go ahead and summon. One has to be in attack mode, and then the other one doesn't matter. Synchro Shokan. Trish, 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 Trish. Effect. Finish that in your hand, and fuck your solemn warning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So effect Trish is thirty two hundred and that should be perfect game. Twenty eight thirty two. When did that scroll? <laughs> I thought I typed effect, but I guess not. Mm -mm. 
Baxia is 28. Trish is 32. That is exactly 6,000. Just said Trish is 32. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, no, yes. <laughs> I can do the math. Apparently you can't, but I can. Alright, people, I'm done. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of I'm My Wife. Like I said, I have fun with the Yang Zings. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I got my butt kicked by him, but then I get to kick some butt with him today. That's why I wasn't too salty yesterday. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. I'll be back Monday with uh, you hour trains. And like I said, line up for Vitamin Y right now. I'm actually like, I, I have no complaints with the lineup right now. You know, Art Trains is fun. Labrador is fun. Shadals are fun because they're dirty and I get to play with Shadals. I get to play with a more competitive deck. Gradles are dirty but fun. And Cosmos and Cosmic Ebell is fun. So like I said, I have no complaints right now. So anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. And yeah, see you guys on Monday with you hour trains. Thanks for watching.